Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. Review time. Yes, it is, brothers. And what are we reviewing today? Top, Top Gun, Gun Maverick. Maverick. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow, indeed. Uh, yes. I can't wait to talk about this movie. Yeah. And I know y'all ready to talk about this movie. Oh, I've been oh, ready yeah. to talk about this movie, man. You see the shade? Let's get to the dang Let's <laughs> talk about it. Let's get it. And I know y'all ready to hear what we got to say about this movie. Y'all can see on this face. Nah, <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> For those out there that are new to the channel, let me explain how we like to review film. First thing first, this is a spoiler-free review. So you don't have to worry about being spoiled. We're going to get you in, and we're going to get you out. Now that we clear that up, let me explain how we like to review movies and television shows. We like to talk about the good. We like to talk about the bad. Then we give you guys that great. So gentlemen, y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Say, well, you're the biggest Top Gun fan over here. This is your thing. This is my thing. Go ahead and show them that good. All right, man. So outside of, of course, the amazing VFX, the amazing actual dog fighting, the good for me in this movie is that it is a 100% a sequel and a love letter to the original film at the same time. This movie was unapologetically 80s, and it didn't feel corny. It worked. Cinematography was on point, man. I love how the story seamlessly went from scene to scene, interjecting a little training here, and you never got bored. You cared about the characters, especially if you've seen the first movie. Yes. But if yes. you haven't, yeah. it catches you up on just what you need to know without dragging it on. I didn't feel like I had to hold anybody's hand through the movie. No. It, it was great. It just worked. And that was my worst fear about the movie. Like, oh, what if it's too much special effects? What if they try to pump it too much action? No, mm -hmm. it's the same exact pacing from the original movie, which was great, and it worked in this sequel. Amazing. You ain't lying about that, man. Especially for a film that took this long to be made. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you ain't lying. I think that was one of the movie's strengths because we haven't seen Tom Cruise in this role so long. It felt real. You really felt yeah. that these characters have grown up watching him be like the legendary pilot of the time. Yeah, Gun seeing Gun. those pictures when they go yeah, to Top Gun. They yeah. felt real, you know? <laughs> like, oh, it's him. <sighs> the legends were true. Yes. All right. Uh, a good for me is the special effects. The fight, the fight, uh, fighter jets. The dog fights, the flares, the missiles, the missions. That was the best part for me. The training. Just seeing Tom Cruise do what Tom Cruise does best. And we're going to call him TC moving forward in this review. TC comes in clutch every time. This man is doing his own stunts. He's in these jets. And he's is freaking believable. Damn. I didn't think he could get any better. You know, I was, like, I think we all was afraid. Like, yo, this has been, the last one came out in, what, 86? Yeah. Like, this is 36 years ago. Yeah. And Tom Cruise comes back like nothing happens and give you guys an epic battle. Yeah, man. Drama. You, you, you feel the emotions. Yeah, that's so. <sighs> this movie hits at a whole nother peak for me. That's my good, man. All right, I will say uh, this movie uh, gives us Original return to uh, classic summer blockbusters. Yeah, with just regular human people and uh, it does a good job of uh, Respecting the late Tony Scott man. I think he would have been proud if he was able to see this uh, It feels the exact like the original movie mm -hmm. But they give such a much stronger compelling story because it has the same beats and the same energy as the 1986 film just modernized and then reminding us of certain things and then moving things forward because we saw the character at a different point in time and it's like then. So the patience and the time that has passed is what helped this movie be even more epic and triumphant because so many years have passed. So coming back to it, it's like, well, what's been going on with the Navy SEALs then? Like with the fighter pilots, what's been going on then? What's changed? How do they do things now? So Tom Cruise's character bringing us in was reminding us about the glory days, but also showing us that things are gonna have to change in this time. So I thought that was very unique. And it was, I think it was a perfect send-off, too. And it does kind of leave things open to a degree because Top Gun is kind of like just the mission. It ends, but there could still be more things that, that could happen. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. always going to be terrors. There's always going to be enemies. There's always going to be wars. There's going to be things that need to be taken care of. And you, you got a new team of pilots. You know what I'm saying? So it feels like the torch has been passed from a fictional character standpoint, and a torch has also been passed from a director standpoint. Joseph Kaczynski did his thing, man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's crazy that you spoke on that because I think you have to be a hell of a director yeah. to be able to show those jets and those motions. Oh, yeah. And Because, you know, compared to the first Top Gun, yeah. you know, you got a lot of close-up shots. Right, right. 
But in 2022, baby, we getting full length jets, bro. I, I wanted to enroll in the Air Force. Wow. That's how dope this movie is. I was like, yo, like. They Google. might as well have called How this old you got to be? <laughs> top, top Gun Ace Combat. Because we got all those maneuvers full, fully cool. fleshed out, bro. Yeah. Bro, that, it was so dope. So dope. You got any good, any more goods, man? Oh, I, I man. know you do, man. Oh, man. It was just great to see, like, people watch Jet movies and the pilot's doing all these maneuvers and he's just doing all this banging stuff. But, like, no. Tom Cruise was really flying some of these jets. He was showing, <laughs> he was showing you the breathing exercise that they have to do to not pass out in these high G turns and these uh, devastating, like, combat maneuvers. Was real, like when he would hold his breath, trying to keep the blood in his brain and all that stuff like that. When he was going up, and it showed like how their tunnel vision gets narrow and narrow as they're blacking out. You don't see that in other jet movies, they like briefly go over it, but to show it, they had to have talked to real pilots who do this to get it like yeah. that real. I, I appreciate Tom Cruise for doing that, for giving us a realistic action movie. Like, you know, uh, uh, we forget that in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? They, everything is so CG. Not saying I, I, it was probably some CG going on. You know what I mean? But for, to know that Tom Cruise took the training, had these guys come in and train with him to give us a most believable uh, jet action plane, whatever you want to call it, movie. Mm -hmm. Like we 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 got that. We we literally got that from we we. I was impressed, 100. percent you got anything else? Yo, I'm going to say uh, the music hit too, man. Mm -hmm. I know really where going. Yeah, man. Uh, they got Hans Zimmer to come in, uh, picking up after Harold Faltermeyer, man. And Lauren Bell, who's coming off the Mission Impossible series. They had a squad, man. And it's just, uh, they brought you back. And uh, the music is a character too, man. Like, that theme, that Top Gun anthem is fire, bro. They brought us right back in and then kicked it off with the Danger Zone. This movie never stopped. <laughs> Kenny Hoggins, man. It never stopped. The music told a story, and it, it had an emotional impact because it was emotional and epic then. So I, I, I love that they kept everything that was uh, recognizable, but they just they amped it up. You know, 21st century, man. I respect it. Same motorcycle, yeah. pictures, memories. It, it, it was a great callback to the 80s, man. Yeah. It did it well. It, it hit. It really hit home. It did. Well, let's talk about the bad. <sighs> Sable. Um, okay. So, of course, for those of you that don't know, I'm a little bit of an aeronautics nerd. I have over 12 hours in the Cessna. And um, it was just one thing that pulled me out of my uh, disbelief, man. And that's when he went up against the Sukhoi, that Su-57. Ain't no way that F-14, if it was an F-14, Tomcat or Super Com Tomcat, he was taking out that Su-57. Because the, it's not about the planes as much as it is the computer power. He would have got hit from long range by a missile before he even showed up on his radar. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that small thing and the fact that they were trying to fire this mission in the F-18, it's like, no, use the F-22 or the F-35. But they explained in the movie, like, I guess they wanted to be a two-man team to coordinate, and those jets are only for one pilot. So I'll give you that. But in real life, I feel like they were just going for F-22s. That's my only, that's a small nitpick, only because it's not as realistic as I want it to be. But I still love it. All that went over my head. It was womp, 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 yeah, I, womp, womp. Hey, I said it was some nerd stuff, man. <laughs> good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All, Thank you, Hollywood. <laughs> all the pilots out there know what I'm talking about. There's no way he took that Su-57 out. Okay. Uh, I, I respect Check it, though. Hey, right. hey, ain't nothing wrong with knowledge, though. I learned something. F-22, 35 would have been for the win. Yeah, it, would, it wouldn't even have been an issue. And it's like, when they were trying to hit those banks, that's what I love, though. You can't hit those wide banks and an F-14 like that back to back because that's not what it was made for. It was made to run, Shoot. hit the target, and leave. We got, we got the F-22 to do all these crazy maneuvers and stuff that to keep up with the Sequoias because the Russians got vertical takeoff, which we still don't really use so much. For, for, my, for my aeronautic nerds out there, I'm sorry. All right, hey. Uh, for me, honestly, I don't have any bads. I think every movie has nitpicks, but for me, this movie completely... Is just flawless. Um, the only thing that I can say, it, it's more of a, it might not be for everyone. If you have sensitive ears or sensitive eyes, this movie might be able to get you a little nauseous or it might be too loud for you. In those situations, you probably want to watch it and not an IMAX thing. You probably want to watch it in a standard version where it's a little less on you. Um, just just observation, but that's, you know, that's just anything that's high pace and speed. Um, I, 
the story was dope. The the acting was dope. Um, the action was dope. The directing was dope. The the, the relics were dope. You, this was a complete sequel to the '86 Top Gun, and the emotions didn't stop. You felt every bit of Maverick. You felt it. You. I don't have no badge, man. That's all I'm saying. The movie ended. I guess that's my only nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Because huh. I was ready to, see, to follow Miles Teller and like see what his journey is going to be because he's in it for the win now. He's in it for the long haul. Yeah. So, again, like I said earlier, the torch has been passed. So, I was waiting for like a, a maybe a mid or post credit scene, something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching too far. Matt. I like the setup. I like the conclusion we got. But, again, like it, it was open for more. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's the family dynamic. When you look at how Top Gun tells the stories, as a, as a franchise, as a whole, the characters is what uh, moves the story going forward. Like, it unlocks that whole narrative. So, each each character has, like, their own specific arc. You know what I mean? So, since we're following them, what are they going to do next? You know what I mean? It's not so much about, like, oh, there's not any bad guys or anything like that. It's like, well, what are they going to do next? Because the torch has been passed. That's how I was looking at it. Um, let's give this movie a grade. Sable being the top gun... Fan, uh, this is your thing. You grew up with this. Literally, bro. Um, the small nitpicks I had mean nothing, bro. Through and through, this movie was flawless. Flawless storytelling, bro. Flawless action scenes for a Jet movie. Like, I can't give it nothing less than a five nitpicks aside. I love this movie. If you are a Top Gun fan, this movie is for you. If you're interested in Top Gun in the universe, this movie is for you. Everybody wins. How can it get anything less than a five? Hey, five stars it is for him. Um, I'm second with this with this uh, this movie. I enjoyed every bit of it. It was better than part one. The story was driven properly, beat for beat. Characters you cared about them. They were new. You you understood the assignments. You got it executed properly. You had shock factors. You had you had moments where you were just like, oh my god, you know what I mean? It, you, you you it was just a hell of a roller coaster, and it took us back to a time where you don't need superheroes to be super, you don't need comic books to be epic. Yeah. Tom Cruise showed us that a man, a single man, one one dude, can show you how to make a blockbuster film, and this movie gets five stars from your boy J3. Shout out to TC for that. <laughs> Oh, man, the director, uh, Kaczynski, man, he did his thing. Uh, I, I really appreciate what he brought to the table, and uh, I felt the need to speed, man. Five stars. Five okay. stars, man. Y'all heard it, <laughs> man. This, this is literally a perfect film, man. Adrenaline. And I, I want to hear people negatives. I, I, I really want to hear people negatives, because this I, one was dope. I honestly think you could only have a negative if you aren't into, like, jets and aviation and stuff like that. Maybe it's not for you. Not even that, yeah, bro. Yeah, I think it's an epic then at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Because the movie's still good. It's a great script. You know what I mean? But anyway, five stars, y'all. That's the review, guys. I would like to know what you guys thought about the movie in the comments down below. Is it a yes or is it a no? Please let me know. Hmm. <laughs> and if it's a no, I'm here to argue with you. I'm here for the smoke. I'm Don't here take for it. it personal, but I'm here to argue. I want to know why you didn't like it. And I want to know why you did like it in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button. Thumbs this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm J3. Saber Rocks. Woo! Ninja Assassin. 100,000 subscribers, y'all. Coming.